So we're going to work with some deeper massage techniques here. And just exploring Sophie's upper back. And what I'm feeling for is areas where the muscles might be a bit congested, a bit lumpy. And I'm finding around here, yeah, a little bit of a knot there. And what I'm going to do when I find it is just go quite still. And I'm here just pressing my fingers in, weight coming from the other hand, leaning on. Sophie, how does that feel? Mm, that's good. That's okay? Yeah. A little bit tender? A little bit. Just ripple under my fingers. Yeah. Right there. Yeah. As I hold this, do you get any sensations anywhere else? You might and you might not, doesn't matter if you don't. Not at the moment. Okay, that's fine, thank you. So I'm very still here, I'm just applying pressure into what we call this trigger point. Okay? That's why I asked the question, is it triggering? Is it referring? Sometimes they do, and it's active, sometimes they don't, and it's passive. And any knot in a muscle has the potential to be an active trigger point. And it's not a problem if it's not referring. But sometimes it's useful information if it is. What you do then is you follow the signpost. So supposing Sophie had said, oh yes, that thing's tingling up in my neck or going down my back or whatever, I'd follow that trail. I'd follow the signpost that her body had given me. But to just come away, a little bit of more general kneading work, and already that lump has just softened a little bit. I'm going to just go in again with the covered thumb. Good old friend. How's that, Sophie? Yeah, that's good. Yeah? Could it be a little deeper? Yeah. Yeah? I'm just going to shift the angle a bit. So I'm staying there, but I've just slightly changed the angle of my thumb and I'm dropping more weight into my back foot. So there's real weight with the touch and I'm holding it, I'm holding it. <sighs> just staying relaxed. I want Sophie to relax into this. If I come at her with strain and effort, it's not going to feel that. It's going to evoke strain and effort in her body. So, what's the point of that? I can also explore this muscular area, and just in case you haven't guessed, I'm all the wrong boys here. And I can go to where they meet bone. So, in this case, on the spine. I'm just going to run up that groove of the spine where the rhomboids meet. Again, I'm using a covered thumb. And I'm dragging my way through the tendon and just releasing those Golgi tendon organs that have been freaking out and they need to switch off and have a little rest. And I can also work under the edge of the scapula there. Perhaps even come round to the other side. Yes, that's better. I can get in there. Ah, that's good. I can now press right into where the rhomboids meet the scap there. How does that feel, Sophie? Oh, that's good. Is that okay? Yeah. Yeah? Thank you. So this is quite firm. It's slow, but I'm moving because I'm working on the tendon rather than into the trigger point where the pressure is more static. And in a moment, I'll turn Sophie over in order to stretch this area. And that's it for the moment.